John Cena. Howdy, everybody. What's going on? What have you heard so far? What's the word in the street? Uh, oh, is this where I'm supposed to make a statement? Usually I open these things up to questions, because I've been making statements for about a year now. I'll tell you what, I'll uh, open it up to questions. Anybody got any questions on the biggest event in WWE history? Ah, you in the front. I cannot tell you how stressful this last year has been on my life. Um, it's, it's been quite a lot, a lot of things happened to me uh, from a business and a personal perspective that have taken a lot of my time and emotion. But uh, it's all been built towards this one day. I'm happy to be able to share it with good people. Yes, with the hat in the back, or in the middle. Uh, tomorrow, uh, for those of you who don't know, in American Airlines Arena, we will be airing Monday Night Raw. So if, you, if the tickets are still available, which they shouldn't be, buy your tickets to see Monday Night Raw. And sir, I don't intend to lose. I didn't come here to finish second place. Yes? I wasn't nervous at all. Uh, I have the reputation of if I get injured, I'm, I'm back real, real quick. And uh, I truly wanted to prove the world um, that you can compete all year round. You don't need to rest your starters. Um, I, I want to be a pro wrestler. I want to be a WWE superstar. That's what I love to do. So to sit on the bench for a year just to wait for one match, I think is, is not fair to the WWE universe. And that's the most important thing, making sure that they're entertained all the time. In the front, look at the peripheral vision. If you, uh, defeat the Rock, when I defeat The Rock. We'll see what okay. Uh, Like I said, the, 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 uh, I think the, no, the obvious progression is probably the WWE Championship, but the great thing about the WWE is uh, every program is a new night. Every program is a, a new opponent. Every program is a new challenge. And, uh, so did I, but that son of a gun, Miz, he, he was even knocked out. He ended up sneaking it away from me. That's all right. Can't, uh, hindsight's 20-20. I'll just win today and shut up all the Rock fans. Uh, you know what? I thought initially that we might have had a chance for it to be a title match, but now, um, in retrospect, looking back on it, this is truly a match that needs no more than it has. It's the two biggest superstars in the WWE in the grandest stage of them all. Yes? Um, I, I never know where Dwayne's head's at. I really don't. Uh, I truly don't want it that way. I think we kind of had a, a scenario like that at, at last year's WrestleMania. And to be honest, I thought it was quite a disappointment. When you spend a year building a match, um, you should have a legitimate decision on who the best is on that night. That would be like uh, the Super Bowl playing three overtimes and just calling it a tie. I'm just not into that. Yes? I would, uh, I would wi wipe the boogers out of my eyes, gently caress his shoulder, and say, how the hell did we get here? <laughs> yes. See, the, la the late reaction. I love it. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Hopefully they noticed that. Um, Brock has a... Uh, a deep tradition in WWE. He, he's also a sportsman. Uh, he was um, he had a fantastic career at UFC. I think he understands what this match is. I think everyone does. I, th I don't think there's a person, uh, whether that paid for a seat or who's going to be behind the curtain today, that doesn't want to see who number one is. And I really, I just, I really hope it's not the it's not the venue to do any hocus pocus. We should just have a have a match and see who comes out the winner. Last question. Last question. Oh, they got like 20 hands up. Come on, you can't let the last question. Go ahead. There are guys that I've been passing through that um, I think with a little more experience could be great opponents. I'm looking forward to, uh, to seeing Cody Rhodes. I know it's a WrestleMania moment for him. I look forward to see what he does. Um, just some of, some of the younger prospects that uh, in, my, in my mind need a little bit more time, but I think uh, have moments of greatness. I just would like those moments to be sustained a little bit longer. I think um, in, the very, in the very near future, you'll see a lot of formidable opponents for me. Yes. Well, welcome to it. This is it.
this is absolutely it. Uh, aside from me, it's Hulk Andre WrestleMania three, and uh, having to do with me, this is it. Best opponent I could ever ask for. Best venue, WrestleMania stage. I can't top this one. Thank you. Behind him, yes. Uh, I've said this before. Um, I truly think to be a successful uh, bad guy, and I'll use the, the term, you seem quite educated, I'll use the term heel. Uh, in this, that means bad guy, for those who don't know. In this business, you need to be a bad guy. Um, I almost broke down and cried three or four times at the Make-A-Wish pizza party that we just had. I'm, uh, you, you may not like what I do, but I'm not a bad guy. And um, I just, I, I, would, I would fight that tooth and nail. I just, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if I could do that. Yes? <laughs> the ignorance of the press, no offense. That was the wife of uh, WWE legend Arnie Scotland. That was Betty Scotland. Uh, it's just people having fun. It was better than the reaction I got at the Hall of Fame in Chicago. <laughs> yeah, standing up. I'm trying to think of the one word. Um, okay, this is where, like, the... You're in front of a bunch of press people. Be correct. Say the right thing. Yada, yada, yada. Um, superstar. And that's a mesh of two words, but that's exactly what he is. Thank you. Yes. That's the corporate answer, by the way. <laughs> for, for a long time. But uh, in Rock's defense, I wasn't ready. You know, I, I started talking trash about him when I filmed The Marine in 2005, and I just wasn't ready. Uh, I have a 10-year legacy now in the WWE. I've, I've been in a ton of these WrestleManias. I've actually been an active member of the WWE longer than Dwayne Johnson. And I'm still here, and I'm still doing quite well. And I think he just wanted to make sure he was stepping in the ring with a WrestleMania opponent that was worthy. And I'm, I'd like to fancy myself the guy who's worthy. Yes? No, not at all. It says it speaks, volu speaks volumes about his legacy. He's a guy who can hold the audience in the palm of his hand, hands down. He's, he's, I, I laugh at his stuff. I enjoy his material. Uh, I just want him back all the time. I've done some movies, and I've, I've managed to um, keep my WWE obligations, so I know it can be done. It just takes a little bit of lack of sleep. My biggest uh, indifference with him was he just left to do one and left us kind of hanging. And I, I get that. I, I go make movies, go be a movie star. But uh, to go around saying you love the gig and you love the business, um, show a little bit more respect. And he has. So he's shut me up. He's been here. He's been a part of this program. He's been on the last six television shows. He's here at WrestleMania. I, I, I can't knock what I was saying about him before. Now I just don't like the guy personally. Yes? You got to keep listening. You never know what I'm going to say. I don't see uh, us being the same person. We, uh, we just don't mesh well together. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. Yes. I am. I, had, I actually woke up this morning and had my WrestleMania breakfast, which was uh, three eggs over easy and two bowls of Fruity Pebbles. Yes. Aside from CM Punk a few months ago, but that's okay. Don't want, it's all right. You don't watch that stuff. Anyway, keep coming. With a childish high school humor? Yeah, you're right. Exactly. Well, if you if you look back on the uh, the CM Punk issue, CM Punk had a complaint of merit. Rocks is just a bunch of high school worthless humor. So I don't take too kindly to that stuff. I'm not worried about uh, being in his place. I'm not worried about being in front of his fans. That is absolutely nothing new for me. I'm very ready for this afternoon. Yes. Okay, last question. Ah, Stooge gets easy. I'm here, man. I'm so ready. This is, uh, I, I really honestly like to see the venue before the doors are open. I did that. I like to make sure that 
the WrestleMania experience outside of what I can provide is the best that it can be for the WWE fans. Um, I just take in the spirit of the event. I watch the show. I'll sit by a television and watch every single match. I enjoy WrestleMania like every other WWE fan because I'm a WWE fan. And when it's my time to go, I'll uh, stretch out just a bit and then go to work. Ladies and gentlemen. Team Bring It. Team, uh, team Bring It's got a question. I want to see what the team has to say. Uh, I, it's no secret. Machine Gun Kelly's doing my entrance. And I'm so happy to have him, uh, especially um, paired up against Flo Rida, who's doing Rock's entrance. I think just that pairing of two people, and if you look at both of them and both of their performances, says volumes about each individual. Machine Gun Kelly really does depict who I am as a person. And uh, I would say Flo Rida is a good choice for The Rock. Ah, the person in the back got the joke. Guys, I eventually do have to go to work. I truly hope you enjoy this event. It is... It is epic. I've been a part of a lot of these, and usually around this time of year, I'll see a passerby and be like, hey, how's that WWE thing? This year, whether filling up my car with gas or being in the airport or anywhere, I will bump into people, and this has been for the year, and they say, you have to beat The Rock on April 1st. So way too many of people have said that for me to let them down. I hope you guys enjoy tonight. I'm here to win, and uh, hopefully tonight we make some history. John Cena.